Hi, I'm Eric. I'm a Prosper You Styles. Welcome to Style with Knowledge. This is my beautiful model, Tanya. I wanted to show you what we call the four rope braid. So we started with four ponytails and we prepped uh, Tanya's hair with just uh, a little mousse and a paddle brush blowing it dry, then a little flat iron work. So you can see we have these four ponytails right here. We're gonna go through and we're just gonna pull some of this hair out to soften this up. And this is gonna give her not only a little bit more height, but it's also gonna deconstruct her look just a little bit. Just going through really light and just pulling these out. All right, let's take our first ponytail and let's be sure that you comb cleanly. Now we're just gonna take this section and watch the way I break this in two. Now, with this particular look, we're gonna twist to the left and then we're just gonna take the left over right, just like that. Twist to the left, left over right. So on and so forth till I get all the way down to the ends. Now what we're gonna do now is just deconstruct it. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm just going to pull that section out and just a little bit more. We're gonna take this now and we're just gonna wrap it all the way around our ponytail, all right? Now, as I wrap it around, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grip it and I'm not opening the pins and just stick them in so we get just a nice rope. All right, that's our look. I'm gonna take just a little bit of spray, just really lightly on there. And with this section, we're gonna do the same thing. All right, so let's separate this right in two. Make sure both sides are equal. Twist to the left, both sides, and then left goes over right. So on and so forth, right the way down. So it's not a big twist, it's a little twist. Now we're gonna deconstruct. Now last time I started at the end. This time I'm gonna start at the beginning. This is kind of a taste thing. You develop your taste, you talk to the client, find out how big or how small they want it. The more you deconstruct it, obviously the bigger it be becomes. Here's our section. Once again, we're just gonna wrap it around that ponytail and just take those ends and we're just gonna tuck them in. You're just gonna pin the hair into the hair at the base. Okay, and there we have two nice, beautiful shapes so far. And now I'm just gonna work at salon speed. I'm gonna have Tanya move her head forward and I'm just gonna work at salon speed. Okay, now we're done with the heavy lifting. What we're gonna do now is just go in and we're just gonna super personalize this look. So use your mirror. Your mirror is your best friend, all right? Make sure that you're always looking in the mirror. I've got a mirror right here, so I'm just looking. Deconstruct that just a little bit more through here. Now, we're gonna finish this with just a little bit of light spray. There we go. And if you need to, you can just smooth everything out with a, with a nice tight little smoothing brush. Well, there you have it. I love this look. It's commercial, it's fast. So we started with a little mousse. We used our paddle brush, flat iron, put four ponytails in, just twisted the ponytails, deconstructed them, and then wrapped them around the ponytails, used you know small grips, not large grips. Takes minutes to do, looks really good. Hey, Style With Knowledge, thanks for watching.
Hi, I'm Eric. I'm a Prosper U stylist. Welcome to Style With Knowledge. This is Tanya. The technique we're going to do today is a classic. It's called the pretzel. So to start with, we have taken Tanya's hair and we put it into three ponytails. I separated it out so the three ponytails are all even. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start the technique by looping every section into the previous section. So I'm just simply going to split this in two. On this first one, I'm just going to put a little back combing in. Just enough that, you know, gives it some guts because her hair is a little slick. Then we're going to follow it with just a little hairspray. And I don't want to get too close with the hairspray. I don't want this hair wet. If it becomes wet, I'm in trouble. All right, now I'm going to start this and watch closely. I'm just going to lift this section up and I'm just going to rotate it right around the initial ponytail. Now I'm just going to take the end of this hair and I'm just going to drop it down, okay? I want to drop it down. I'm going to put a bobby pin in it. And the only reason I'm putting a pin in it is just to get it out of the way, just so I don't uh, confuse myself later and pick it up by accident. So take it, just stick a bobby in there and get rid of it. Now, let's take the other half of that and once again, let's back comb that, spray pretty lightly, not too close, and then just flatten everything out to make sure it's nice and smooth. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's lift this section up. I'm gonna bring it right around this way. There we go, and what I'm gonna do now is just lift that first section, and I'm gonna bring that right through. Now, you want both of those little loops to be the exact same, and I'm just gonna stick that grip in, and all I wanna do is hold that hair out of the way. There we go, so two loops so far. It looks pretty great. Let's go to our next ponytail. Again, separate it in two, and just back comb, and we're just going to spray. You can see I use a lot of sprays, but the sprays are light, nothing too heavy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reach up in front of this first loop. I'm gonna take this hair, I'm gonna open it up, reach my left hand with my index finger and my middle finger. I've grabbed the hair just like that. All I'm gonna do is pull this hair all the way through and drop my loop down, just like that. Now, I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm just going to pin that once again out of the way. Now, I've got this section of hair. We're gonna do the same thing. Making sure it looks really good. Look at it from the front and from the back. Now, we're gonna do the same thing. This time, I'm gonna use my right hand and my index finger, my middle finger, reach in, and I'm gonna grab this side, and I'm just gonna pull it through that front loop, just like this. Pull it through, and all I'm gonna do with this is bring it back over to the other side, right in between these two. Make sure that both loops are about the same in size. And then we're just gonna take a bobby pin. And with that bobby pin, all we're gonna do, once again, is capture that hair. All right, so we've got one ponytail left. So again, with the left hand, you're gonna reach through with the index finger. In the middle finger, you're just gonna reach right the way through. You're gonna grab that hair, pull it all the way through, and loop that right around. You're gonna go down and drop this right on the other side. A little pin right through there. All right, now, it's a little sloppy. We need a little bit more work on it. Now, what we wanna do is Take it, twist it just like this, just twisting this hair, and I'm just gonna take it up and all the way over until I've just gotten rid of all of this hair. All right, so let's do the same thing to this side. We're just gonna twist this. As we twist, we're just gonna lift it all the way up and just kind of tuck it in, pinning as we go to make sure that that hair doesn't get away from us, and just go right to the top and keep pinning. Okay, so we've taken that last one, we pin that in, everything's looking good. Now, here's the time when we really need to use our mirror and really personalize it. So I think it's looking really good so far. But I think we just need to do a few more little finishing touches and maybe let's just bring this in a little bit more, like right there. Let's just loosen this up a little bit right through here by lifting and just softening everything up. Okay, so here's our finished look with Tanya. This is the pretzel. To review, prep, really easy, little flat iron, blow dry with a paddle brush, little mousse, and uh, three ponytails, and we just loop each ponytail, and we looped it into the previous ponytail. You want to make sure the balance is good, look at the silhouette, use your mirror, your mirror is your best friend. And there you have it, that is the pretzel. Hey, thank you for watching, I will see you soon.
Hi, Eric here, Prosper You Stylist, and welcome to Style with Knowledge. So this is Tanya, beautiful hair, long, and we're gonna do a classic Xinyang for you. All right, so let's start, and I'm just going to brush all the hair back into my hands. And once I get it all in the back like this, I want to take and I'm gonna divide it in two. Let's take a section from here with our rat tail comb. Let's go straight up from the ear. And let's go straight back down. So we've got all of this hair and hopefully we've divided that evenly right in two. All right, comb that. Now, I've got this section, it looks good. Now, we're just gonna get this section right out of the way. So all I'm gonna do now is take this, I'm gonna twist it, and I'm just gonna put one pin in it just to hold the hair out of the way, okay? Instead of trying to comb all this up at one time, the best way to put a ponytail in, the best thing you can do when you're trying to section the hair out is take small sections like this, and we'll just grab all this section at once and comb all this right up there. So what I wanna do now is undo this, grab this section, and just put it in my left hand. So I've got all this hair in my left hand, and now I'm gonna comb all this hair. So this is probably the hardest part of the updo, as a matter of fact, is just making sure that you can grip both sections with one hand. So again, make sure you're combing that nice from the scalp all the way to the ends. All right, so here's our sections. What we're gonna do now is I'm simply gonna grab this hair between the middle finger and the index finger of my right hand. Now I'm gonna grip the bottom section between the thumb and the index finger of my right hand. So I've got two sections with my right hand. All I'm gonna do is reach in here, just like this, and grab this hair that's on the top and pull it through. Okay, there we are, pull it through. And what have I done? I've just put a big knot in that, right? So now, I'm gonna comb through this. On the shorter section of the hair, one side's gonna be a little longer than the other. I'm gonna grip the shorter section and I'm gonna tie another knot. Once again, I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna grab this between the index finger and the thumb. Reach my left hand in and throw that hair around and just grab it. And all I'm gonna do is tie another knot. And guess what I'm gonna do again? Another knot and then one more knot at the base. Now we've got that, that's so Great, it's so fast, so easy. I'm just gonna take an elastic just so it doesn't loosen up too much. So far, so good. I'm gonna take a light amount of spray and all I'm gonna do is spray this just really lightly. Not too much and I'm not gonna get too close with the spray. I just wanna spray around just to kind of set it in. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this little bit here and we're just going to wind it up. And I'm just gonna take a large bobby and I use the large one because I, I think it just works better for this. And always over pin everything. If you think one will do it, put three in. Now, I like this a lot, but what I wanna do is I'm gonna open this up a little bit more and just lift that. Now, this is something that just is one of those little extra steps that's great. Now, you've got a little uh, toe on this bobby pin. All of them have them. So what we're gonna do with the toe is just lift that, grab that hair, Bring it up and then just turn it around like that, all right? So let me do the same thing on this side. Got the toe right here. We're just gonna take this and we're gonna push that right there, lift that up, turn that bobby pin around the opposite direction and push down. And you can see it just kind of opens that up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna use my mirror and just look and make sure everything looks good. Now, I think it's a little flat right here, so I'm just gonna go in and watch the way I just pull that crown up. It's that easy. And now, a little hairspray. And there you have it. This is the classic chignon, very easy to execute. The technique we used is just a knot technique. We combed both sections together and tied knots, and it was as simple as that. Prep was easy. Little flat iron, kept the hair straight, smooth, really beautiful, and I just love the way this looks. This is the classic Xinyang, and that's style with knowledge. Thanks for watching.
Hi everyone, I'm Eric, Prosper U Stylist. Welcome to Style with Knowledge, and this is Tanya. We're gonna do a classic chignon shape. I call this the ponytail chignon. Now when we do this, I'm gonna take a section right in the front, and I'm just gonna start by taking that section out. This is gonna be one of the key sections, and all I'm gonna do with this is use it as kind of a design prop when when I'm totally done with the chignon. So, and when I do this, I like to go right above the eye here and right above the eye. If I want a long fringe, I'll go a little further over to the left side and just dip that hair down. And I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I'm just gonna put this into a little knot right now and just get it right out of my way. All right, now we're gonna concentrate on just bringing all this back. So pull all this back, just comb this back. Now, I'm just gonna take a rubber band, and you can see that this rubber band has two bobby pins on it, and this is really the key. When you put a rubber band in, this way you don't damage the hair. When she wants to take it out, she just pulls one of the bobby pins out, and the entire thing loosens up and relaxes. So stick it in just like this, right at the base, and push it all the way through, and all you're gonna do is wrap this rubber band all the way around until you've lost pressure. Stick it back in the other way. And we're just gonna spray lightly, not too much, just to give it a little bit more body. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna backcomb. And normally, you know, we've often told you when you backcomb, backcomb all the sections together. We're not gonna do that now. We're just gonna take, just like this, backcomb all that together. Take another section and we're gonna do the same thing. We've got all this together. Now let's just take this. And before we do anything else, we wanna just take and smooth this out. Now I'm gonna smooth it the way that I want the hair to go. So I know that the hair is gonna be moving to her left. I'm gonna smooth it to the left. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this. So what I'm gonna do with my right hand, I'm just gonna lift over this way. I'm gonna have you tilt your head back and I'm gonna grab this hair like this. My thumb is going right in here. I've got that. And all I'm gonna do is wrap this hair around just like that, okay? Smooth that out. And that's the beginning of my chignon. Now, I'm gonna take the jumbo pins, and you need the jumbos anytime you have thick hair like this. And I'm gonna take that jumbo, and I'm just gonna stick it in and then push it down. It's always better to overpin than to underpin. So take your fingers out, and there's the beginning. So far, so good. Let's just stretch this out a little bit. Now, all we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take, spray just really lightly, and we're just gonna take this, and we're gonna wrap this right the way around, just like this, and back up. And then when we get right over here, we're just going to tuck this in so it goes away. Again, not even opening that grip, just stick it in. So let's look at this shape, let's look at the silhouette. So far, beautiful. Maybe it's a little wide down here. And I'm just gonna take it like this and stick it in and push it all the way in. There we go. Now, we've got this section in the front. This is gonna be a really cool piece of the pie. And this section, it can be bigger, it can be smaller. You kind of, you know, get a feeling for what you want to do. All right, so we're right here. We're gonna do some surface backcombing. All right, surface backcombing means we just we just backcomb right on the surface. Okay, just like this. Really light, 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 just on the surface. A little spray. Okay, so play around with it. See what works for you when you're doing this accent piece here and make sure that the balance looks really good for you. So take that small bobby pin, stick it in just to hold the hair. And let's just take a look at that and what we want to do with that. And maybe wrap that around. So we've got a couple repeating patterns there, which looks really good. And what we want to do with this is just take and let's just tuck everything back under. Take a bobby pin once again and just take that bobby pin and stick that in so you're holding all the hair. So I think the balance looks really good. Again, spray really lightly. All right, so we've completed our little ponytail chignon. Really easy to do, nothing complicated about this. We started off with just a ponytail. We put it into a chignon. We left a small piece about two inches wide by an inch and a half deep. And once we had this wonderful chignon in, we just wrapped the hair right the way around. Easy, fast, and hope you enjoyed this. This is Style with Knowledge. Thanks for watching.